Miranda Lambert, despite shining as a luminary in country music, hides many dark sides in her personal life. The truth is, her powerful voice and formidable spirit often overshadow those concealed aspects. From controversial moments on stage to tumultuous relationships off it, the gunpowder and lead singer has faced her fair share of scandal and scrutiny. Let us delve into the more numerous and lesser-known aspects of Miranda Lambert's life. First of all, the whirlwind romance between Miranda Lambert and Evan Felker in early 2018 became a hot topic of discussion as it was mired in controversy from the start. The narrative surrounding Lambert allegedly stealing a married man fueled intense media scrutiny and public debate. In April 2018, Us Weekly reported that Miranda Lambert had ended her relationship with fellow country musician Anderson East. The couple had been together for over two years, and their split was portrayed as amicable, mainly attributed to the challenges of maintaining a relationship while balancing demanding careers. The news came as a surprise to many, as Lambert and East had seemed like a stable couple in the country music scene. However, sources close to the pair suggested that the strain of being apart for long periods due to their respective tours and professional commitments had taken its toll. Despite the split, some insiders speculated that there was still hope for a reconciliation, with one source even claiming that Lambert was devastated and didn't see it coming. Yet what followed in the weeks after their breakup painted a different picture. Just two weeks later, rumors began to circulate that Lambert had quickly moved on and was allegedly dating Evan Felker, the frontman of the band Turnpike Troubadours. This revelation shocked many, not only because of the speed with which Lambert seemed to have entered a new relationship, but also because Felker was a married man at the time. Felker's involvement with Lambert quickly became the focal point of media attention. The two met while Felker's band was serving as the opening act for Lambert's Livin' Like Hippies tour, which kicked off in January 2018. This timeline raised eyebrows, as it appeared that their relationship had begun while Felker was still very much married. According to Us Weekly, Felker filed for divorce from his wife of two years, Stacy Nelson, in February 2018, just weeks after his tour with Lambert began. The proximity of these events led many to speculate about the true nature and timing of Lambert and Felker's relationship. Specifically, Evan Felker and Stacy Nelson had been married for two years before the turmoil began. Their relationship appeared solid from the outside, and the couple was reportedly trying to start a family before Felker hit the road with Lambert's Livin' Like Hippies tour in January 2018. However, what started as another tour soon spiraled into a scandal that would alter the course of their lives. According to sources close to the situation, Felker's behavior changed dramatically within just a few days of being on the road. A source told People that Felker was in love with his wife during the first two nights of the tour, but by the third night, things took a sudden turn. Felker sent an email to Nelson informing her that he wouldn't be coming home that week. This communication was a devastating blow for Nelson, who had no inkling that her marriage was in jeopardy. As the tour progressed, Felker reportedly became more distant and unresponsive. The insider claimed that Felker effectively ghosted Nelson, ignoring her calls and messages. This sudden silence was especially painful, given that the couple had been actively trying to have a baby before Felker left for the tour. Nelson, who had expected a routine tour separation, was blindsided by her husband's abrupt change in behavior. The real bombshell came when Nelson discovered that Felker had filed for divorce. Shockingly, she learned about it not through her husband, but by reading a news report. The lack of communication and transparency from Felker added another layer of hurt to the situation. In her response filing, obtained by Radar Online, Nelson cited abandonment as the reason for the split underscoring the emotional turmoil she endured as her marriage unraveled.
Adding fuel to the fire were the rumors that Felker's sudden change of heart was due to his growing involvement with Lambert. While Lambert publicly denied being the reason for Felker and Nelson's divorce, insiders had a different perspective. A source told people that the notion of the divorce happening for any reason other than Felker's relationship with Lambert was complete bull's amount. This insider suggested that if it weren't for Lambert, Felker would still be very much in love with Nelson. Much in love. The timing of Felker's confession about his relationship with Lambert added to the suspicion. He reportedly came clean to Nelson about the affair in March 2018 after weeks of ghosting her. By that point, the damage to their marriage was irreparable. The insider claimed that Felker's feelings for Lambert were strong enough to override his previous commitment to his wife and that without Lambert's influence, Felker might have remained faithful. As the media frenzy around the affair grew, Stacy Nelson maintained a relatively low profile. She refrained from making public statements about the rumors, instead opting to express her emotions more subtly. One poignant moment came when she posted a sad selfie on social media with the caption, PSA, if Stacy Felker can make it through this week, so can you. The post resonated with many who sympathized with her situation, offering a glimpse into the pain she was enduring behind closed doors. The romantic entanglements of Miranda Lambert have long been a source of fascination and speculation particularly when it comes to the timeline of her relationships with Anderson East and Evan Felker. The narrative becomes even more intriguing when one examines the overlap between the end of Lambert's relationship with East and the beginning of her affair with Felker, raising questions about whether there was infidelity involved. Miranda Lambert and Anderson East were a high-profile couple in the country music world, and their relationship, which lasted over two years, was publicly admired. However, in early 2018, the couple's romance came to an end. The official announcement of their split didn't come until April 2018, but rumors suggest that Lambert's involvement with Evan Felker may have played a significant role in the timing and circumstances of her breakup with East. The Livin' Like Hippies tour began in January 2018, with Felker's band, the Turnpike Troubadours, serving as Lambert's opening act. It was during this tour that the sparks allegedly began to fly between Lambert and Felker. According to some sources, the connection between them was instantaneous and intense, developing not only on stage, but also during private songwriting sessions. This growing closeness raised eyebrows, especially considering that Lambert was still publicly linked to Anderson East at the time. An insider told Us Weekly that Lambert and East were technically still a couple when she started getting involved with Felker. The source described the situation as something that just happened, suggesting that the emotional and perhaps physical affair with Felker began before Lambert and East had officially called it quits. This insider account challenges the narrative that Lambert and East's split was purely the result of busy schedules and time apart hinting instead at a more complicated and potentially messy breakup influenced by Lambert's new romance. Further fueling these suspicions were reports from witnesses who saw Lambert and Felker together during this period. One such instance occurred during a brunch outing, where a witness told Radar Online that they initially believed Lambert was with Anderson East because of how openly affectionate she was with Felker. This public display of affection, which seemed so natural and romantic, raised questions about whether Lambert had already emotionally moved on from East before their relationship was officially over. The situation was further complicated by comments from those close to the involved parties, including Felker's then-wife, Stacy Nelson, and her family. Nelson's father in particular hinted at the possibility that Lambert had indeed cheated on East with his son-in-law. In an interview with Radar Online, he cryptically stated, I don't like to spread rumors, but I'd say you're on the right track. When asked about the potential overlap between Lambert's relationships with East and Felker, this comment, while not an outright accusation, strongly implied that there was more to the story than the public had been led to believe. Besides, 
The dissolution of the marriage between country music superstars Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert was also one of the most talked-about breakups in the entertainment world. While the couple never publicly disclosed all the details behind their split, persistent rumors and suggestive lyrics have fueled speculation that infidelity played a significant role in their separation, with Lambert being the alleged culprit. Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert were once the golden couple of country music. Their relationship, which began in 2005 and led to marriage in 2011, was marked by public displays of affection and collaborations in their musical careers. However, beneath the surface of their seemingly perfect relationship, tensions brewed, culminating in their unexpected divorce in 2015. The news shocked fans, and the media quickly began to speculate about the reasons behind the split. One of the most persistent rumors surrounding their divorce was that Lambert had been unfaithful during their marriage. While Shelton has never explicitly confirmed this, he dropped several hints that suggested infidelity may have been a factor. In his 2016 song, She's Got Away With Words, Shelton sings lyrics that many interpreted as a direct reference to his failed marriage with Lambert. Lines like, little words like I and do, lying, cheating, screwed, yeah, all the words I thought I knew, they got a brand new meaning now, were seen by many as a thinly veiled jab at Lambert implying that she had betrayed him. Further fueling speculation was a tweet Shelton posted after news of Lambert's affair with Evan Felker became public in 2018. He wrote, Been taking the high road for a long time. I almost gave up, but I can finally see something on the horizon up there. Wait, could it be? Yep, it's karma. This cryptic message was widely interpreted as a reference to Lambert's alleged past infidelities, with fans and media outlets speculating that Shelton felt vindicated by the public revelation of Lambert's relationship with Felker. Despite these hints, it has been widely reported that Anderson East, the man Lambert began dating shortly after her split from Shelton, was not the person she allegedly cheated with. Instead, Various sources have pointed to several other potential dalliances during her marriage to Shelton. Among the most notable of these rumors was an alleged fling with married baseball player Josh Beckett. Though never confirmed, the whispers of this affair added to the growing narrative that Lambert's infidelity had played a significant role in the breakdown of her marriage. The most damaging rumor, however, involved Lambert's relationship with her married tour manager, Ryan Westbrook. According to sources cited by OK Magazine, Lambert's alleged closeness with Westbrook was the final straw for Shelton. The reports claimed that Lambert's bandmates had witnessed the interactions between Lambert and Westbrook and eventually revealed the truth to Shelton. This revelation reportedly sent Shelton over the edge, leading to the end of their marriage. A source close to Shelton allegedly told, OK Magazine that he had been willing to forgive Lambert's past indiscretions and take her back multiple times during their marriage, but Lambert's refusal to own up to her mistakes and apologize was what ultimately led to the divorce. He'd taken Miranda back time and time again, and he would have done it again had she owned up to her mistakes and corrected them, the source claimed. Instead, Lambert reportedly chose to end the marriage rather than admit any wrongdoing, which was said to have been a crushing blow to Blake's ego. In a candid interview with Behind the Music in 2011, Shelton reflected on that moment, saying, I was a married guy, you know, standing up there going, man, this shouldn't be happening. Looking back on that, I was falling in love with her right there on stage. This confession was startling in its honesty revealing that Shelton was aware from the outset that his feelings for Lambert were inappropriate given his marital status. However, the attraction was undeniable, and it eventually led to the end of his marriage to Gern. Shelton and Gern divorced in 2006, and shortly thereafter, Shelton and Lambert began dating, eventually marrying in 2011. Lambert herself has also spoken about the beginning of their relationship, acknowledging that she knew Shelton was married when they first connected. 
In an interview with Dateline that same year, Lambert admitted that pursuing a relationship with Shelton was wrong, but that she couldn't deny her feelings for him. I knew he was married, she said. I knew better, like, this is off limits. My parents are private investigators, for God's sake. I've seen this my whole life. Affairs. Of all people to know better, I know better. Despite their rocky start, Shelton and Lambert's relationship quickly became one of country music's most celebrated romances. They were the power couple of the genre, collaborating on music, attending award shows together, and publicly supporting each other's careers. However, as their relationship became more serious, the shadow of how it began lingered in the background. This shadow grew darker in 2015 when Shelton and Lambert announced their divorce after four years of marriage. The split was sudden and caught fans off guard, leading to widespread speculation about what went wrong. Although the couple remained tight-lipped about the reasons for their breakup, rumors of infidelity swirled around both Shelton and Lambert. Shelton's 2016 song, She's Got Away With Words, and his 2018 tweet about karma fueled these rumors, with many interpreting these as digs at Lambert's alleged unfaithfulness. However, Shelton's tweet about karma did not go unnoticed by those who remembered the beginnings of his relationship with Lambert. One such person was Jeff Allen, Lambert's ex-boyfriend, who had dated her before she got together with Shelton. In a since-deleted tweet, Allen called out Shelton for what he saw as hypocrisy. You know, I've always given you the benefit of the doubt and chalked it up to just being human, Allen wrote. But you must be one arrogant SOB to pop off something like this when I know damn good and well you were cheating on your wife and Miranda was cheating on me when you two started up. Miranda Lambert has long been celebrated for her talent and strong-willed personality. However, her romantic entanglements have often raised eyebrows, with some questioning whether she has leveraged her fame and influence to captivate and control the men in her life. This dynamic came into sharp focus with her relationship with Evan Felker, the frontman of the Turnpike Troubadours, sparking debates about the ethical boundaries of celebrity power. The relationship between Lambert and Felker reportedly began under the guise of professional collaboration. According to sources close to Felker, their initial communication was strictly professional, revolving around their upcoming tour together and potential songwriting collaborations. However, as the tour date approached, the nature of their interactions allegedly shifted. What started as friendly and professional texts reportedly evolved into something more flirtatious, blurring the lines between business and personal interests. An insider told people that Felker was aware of the inappropriate nature of these interactions, especially given that he was married to Stacy Nelson at the time. He knew it was flirty and crossed a line with Stacy, the source revealed. Felker, feeling guilty about the flirtatious nature of the messages, even showed them to his wife. He reportedly told her, I don't want to blow her off because this is the kind of money that can change our grandkids' lives if I'm able to write with this person. This admission suggests that Felker was not just enticed by Lambert's attention, but also by the significant financial and professional opportunities that could arise from working closely with a star of her caliber. The power dynamics at play here are intriguing. Felker, an established artist in his own right, found himself drawn into Lambert's orbit, not only because of personal attraction, but also due to the potential career benefits of being associated with one of the biggest names in country music. Lambert's influence in the industry is undeniable, and for an artist like Felker, the prospect of collaboration with her could indeed be life-changing. Lambert's actions on social media added fuel to the fire. Before their relationship became public knowledge, Lambert reportedly dropped subtle hints that suggested something more was brewing between her and Felker. She posted photos featuring his favorite beer and his signature graphing paper, items that were intimately associated with him. To those in the know, these posts were seen as veiled references to their budding romance, further complicating the narrative of their professional relationship. 
The question of whether Lambert was consciously leveraging her fame to woo Felker is a complex one. On one hand, it's possible to view her actions as a calculated effort to entice him, using her star power as a form of influence. On the other hand, one could argue that Felker was equally complicit, fully aware of the benefits that could come from being associated with Lambert, and choosing to engage with her despite knowing the potential consequences of his marriage. This isn't the first time such dynamics have been suggested in Lambert's relationships. Her previous romance with singer-songwriter Anderson East also led to speculation about the role her fame played in their relationship. A source told In Touch Weekly that East was well aware of how his association with Lambert catapulted him into the musical A-list. While their relationship may have been genuine, there is no denying that being romantically linked with Lambert brought East a level of visibility and success that might have been more difficult to achieve on his own. Miranda Lambert's tumultuous love life has often been a subject of intrigue and speculation, but one aspect that seems to have shielded her from more intense public scrutiny is her ability to craft and perform emotionally charged breakup songs. These songs, which often depict her as heartbroken and wronged, have resonated deeply with her audience, allowing her to embody the role of the scorned lover rather than the potential instigator of romantic chaos. This ability to portray herself as the victim in her music, coupled with her relatively low-key approach to publicizing her personal life, has led many to sympathize with her rather than criticize her. One of the most poignant examples of Lambert's ability to channel her heartbreak into her music is her 2018 Academy of Country Music Award-winning song, Tin Man. The song, which is raw and emotionally vulnerable, captures the pain of heartbreak with such authenticity that it's difficult to imagine the lyrics as anything other than a true reflection of Lambert's own experiences. When she accepted the award for Song of the Year, Lambert thanked the audience for sharing her broken heart, a statement that further solidified her image as someone who has been deeply wounded by love. Lambert's public persona following her high-profile divorce from Blake Shelton also contributed to this narrative. After their split, she made several cryptic social media posts about heartache and healing, which seemed to allude to her emotional turmoil without directly addressing the reasons behind the divorce. This vagueness allowed fans and the media to fill in the blanks, often in ways that painted Lambert as the victim of the breakup. Meanwhile, Shelton was more visibly active in the media, particularly as his relationship with fellow The Voice coach Gwen Stefani became a topic of widespread interest. This dynamic led to a situation where Lambert appeared more reserved and reflective, while Shelton was seen as moving on quickly, potentially rubbing salt in the wounds of their recent split. Lambert's reluctance to engage with the press during this period could be interpreted in several ways. Some might argue that she was simply trying to avoid the uncomfortable questions that inevitably come with a high-profile divorce, preferring instead to process her emotions privately. Others might suggest that her silence was a strategic move, allowing her to maintain the image of the wronged party while avoiding the messier details that might complicate that narrative. In a January 2016 interview with Cosmopolitan, Lambert reflected on her divorce from Shelton, expressing confusion and a sense of being lost in the aftermath. We were together for ten years, married for four, were very quickly divorced, and are friends. I'm still processing everything and figuring out where to go and what happened, she said. This statement with its tone of bewilderment and unresolved emotion, further contributed to the perception of Lambert as someone who was blindsided by the end of her marriage and left to pick up the pieces on her own. However, not everyone has bought into this image of Lambert as a perpetual victim in her relationships. A source told Life and Style that Shelton, in particular, saw things differently. Shelton believes some things never change, including what he sees as Miranda's twisted relationship antics. Blake was always made out to be the bad guy after he filed for divorce and sent Miranda packing from Oklahoma. Lambert played the victim, the source claimed. This perspective suggests that Lambert's portrayal of herself as heartbroken and wronged might not align with the full reality of her relationships.
What do you think about Miranda Lambert's darker side? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.